Most everybody thinks that aspiration is caused by dysphagia. And so when we get the referral from the physician, we see aspiration pneumonia and we go for it. We start doing some swallowing work. But actually, the aspiration pneumonia that you get from dysphagia is the least serious kind. Were you aware of that? Well, that's because when you have dysphagia and you aspirate on it, it has never had a chance to go down to the stomach and get mixed up with stomach acid. And so one of the reasons I'm talking about aspiration is that there are two other ways to get aspiration pneumonia, which are much, much more serious. One way is through gastroesophageal reflux, and another way is through poor oral hygiene. If you tend to aspirate, if you aspirate on reflux, so how does that happen? Somebody has a stage three dysphagia, they've got peristaltic problems, they've got GERD, they regurge, it comes back up, and they aspirate, okay? Now what you're courting is a more serious form of aspiration pneumonia, which is called chemical pneumonitis. Anybody hear that term? Chemical pneumonitis. Imagine an acid burn. That's chemical pneumonitis. And that's the more fatal variety of aspiration pneumonia. Okay? Now, think about people with eating disorders, specifically bulimia. Has anybody known anybody that was bulimic? Okay. What happens with bulimia is that you binge, gorge, whatever, and then you induce vomiting. And one of the ways that a physician can tell if you're bulimic is that they look at your teeth, right? Because your teeth are completely rotted from that chemical burn or that comes up from the acid from the stomach. And they're inducing this vomiting how many times a day, okay? So if this chemical, if, if this hydrochloric acid can burn a hole in your teeth, you can imagine what it's doing to your lungs, okay? So when you think about aspiration pneumonia, when you get that diagnosis and you get that referral, patient has an aspiration pneumonia, just don't switch right away to, whew, this must be dysphagia, because it's not necessarily. So when you do your evaluation, you want to do a full evaluation for swallowing and for digestive issues. You want to ask the sinusitis questions. You want to ask those full-blown questions that we have already gone through to determine whether this aspiration pneumonia is being caused by reflux, poor oral hygiene, which you can see bacteria hanging out in the mouth, mixes with gastric acid, then you do your natural swallowing of your saliva and you get chemical pneumonitis. So a lot of people think of it as dys dysphagia rate related, but it's just as often and more serious when it's related to poor oral hygiene and reflux.